Good morning. Today I have my longest run so far since my half marathon. I am training for my first full marathon coming in March. I got about 11 weeks left and today I am running 13 miles and I'm scared but I'm excited. Um, I'm running close to my house just in case I need assistance I guess. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for following my journey. Um, I'll check in with you during the 13 mile run to keep you updated on how it's going. And I'm super excited about this new venture and journey and it's been tough so far, but um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying pushing myself beyond my limits and seeing how strong I really am. So thank you guys for your support and following me and yeah, let's do this thing. Bye. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm on mile four. My headphones just died. So good thing I'm close to my house. So I'm gonna run back to my house, grab my other headphones, and get back on the road. Uh, get a little thirsty. And I'm gonna have a energy gel here next mile. Keep my energy levels up. So it's going pretty good so far. All right, see you in a few miles. I love running outside. It's gorgeous day. A little chilly. Pretty beautiful. <laughs> Alright, I got my first energy gel here. This is a honey stinger. Kiwi strawberry. I've never had these before. I've heard amazing things. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> three more miles. Okay, three and a half miles to go. I'm walking for a second. Uh, taking my second energy job. I'm feeling good. My heart and my lungs feel good. It's just my my freaking uh, muscles, my legs, my joints, my hips are killing me, my knees are killing me, and I'm like on mile 10. To think I have to run 26 miles, my body's gonna like die. But that's why we train, right? Okay, see you at the finish line. Okay, I did it. Whew. Half marathon, 13 miles, done. If I, you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was, I ran better than I did last week when I did 10 miles, which is a good sign. And I think part of that is because I'm learning how to hydrate and um, fuel myself during my long run so that I don't get to that point where I feel weak or I get cramps, my stomach gets upset. And even, uh, um, gosh, probably about four months ago when I ran a half marathon race in Santa Rosa, my first half marathon, I, um, about four or five miles into the race, I, I drank some Gatorade, which I didn't train with and it messed my stomach up so bad. I had cramps for like another, probably most of the rest of the race. And it was really, really hard to get through the race. I had to walk a lot. It was horrible, horrible. So learning that, you know, during your training, you have to experiment with, um, um, you know, gels and electrolyte drinks during your training so that on race day, you are prepared and you know what your body accepts and what it doesn't. Um, also, for the a little tip on the gels, um, these energy gels, it's important to take these on your long runs. Um, you know, it's important to keep your body fueled um, constantly. You don't want to wait until you feel hungry or you wait until you start feeling weak to take one of these because they take about five to 10 minutes to really soak into your muscles and you, for you to really feel the effects of them. So you really gotta take them about 10 minutes before you really need it, if that makes sense. So um, rule of thumb for me is I try to take one of these every four miles on my long runs. Um, today it worked out great. I didn't feel um, weak at all. I didn't feel nauseous at all. 
Um, I also sipped some electrolyte water um, about every mile. Um, you know, it's important not to chug water back, but just take a sip. Um, everybody is different on how much you should hydrate during your long runs. Um, it also depends on how hot it is outside, how much you're sweating. Um, but I like to just take a sip every, every mile. Um, you should never feel really thirsty. You should always feel like your mouth is wet. You should never be like caught in mouth. Um, so if you start feeling like that, it's probably signs that you're getting dehydrated. So that's another rule of thumb. But anyway, um, thank you guys for joining me on my run. Next week I have 15 miles. Not sure how I'm gonna do that, but I will. And I um, hope you guys have a great weekend. All right, bye.